Hey everybody, today we are back at La Mesa in Port St. Lucie, and we're looking at another amazing redwood. This is the 3981FK. So let's get to it. And here are your numbers. And again, like always, I never have my glasses. I, I wish I'd remember to bring them so I could read these to you, but you can just freeze frame. There they are. All right, so as you come up here, you're walking right into the living room, which is really neat to walk into the living room. And right as you come in, you see you've got two reclining chairs and these are electric. And so they recline, you got massage, you got heat, you kind of all fun stuff. And right across from that is your nice TV. All right. And uh, a nice fireplace underneath there, a nice gray stone, 36 inch fireplace. To the right, that is a pull out sofa. So that can become a bed, which is awesome. And above, here's something that's neat. It's just kind of like two-tone cabinetry, right? So you got light colors there, you got dark colors there. It just kind of sets it off a little bit, which is really, really neat, okay? Now, across from here, like right when you come into the left, this is your dinette area. And there is an extra set of chairs, so this can fit four people. It's not extended all the way, so you know if you need to have some guests over, you can pull this out and sit four. The other thing I like is you see you got like this little back area here. That's great for putting, you know, condiments and your your napkins and just different things. It actually got a charging station right there. So if you want to charge your phone while you're eating dinner or just during the day, you got a, a charging station, all right? So um, also when you first walk in just to your right, remember I was talking about the, the electronic system? Here's the keypad right when you walk in. Now you can also put this on your phone or on a pad and operate it from there as well. So now look at this. Well, hey. Well, hey. hey. Fancy meeting you here. Fancy meeting you. Fancy. 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 <laughs> <laughs> this is a ridiculous kitchen for an RV. Holy mackerel. This is like one of the biggest. This is if your family that cooks together, stays together, this is the kitchen for you. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I think our entire kitchen in our RV is about the size of this. <laughs> It's bigger than the kitchen in our house. <laughs> it is. If you're a full timer and you love to cook, this is a cooker's kitchen. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. So we start off with a sink right here, yeah? Yep. We've got the nice farmhouse sink, stainless steel. We have plenty of storage all the way around it, too, right? I mean, Look at this. I'm not even going to talk about the storage. Right. I mean, take your pick. There's cabinetry everywhere. Oh, trash can. This is great right there. So it's close to the door, which is this one over here. Oh, yep, nice separated storage. Um, you got a couple little things up there. I'm not sure what you'd put up there. <laughs> and another cabinet. And then just to the right of the sink is where you do a lot of the dirtying, right? Absolutely. You got a three burner stove, cooktop that is, three burner cooktop, and you got your oven underneath. Nice. You got your nice big convection microwave. Awesome. Right. Storage above that too. Storage above it. Like I said, storage everywhere in this room. All storage underneath. That's amazing. Yep. And did you notice? Oh, yep. Slow close latches. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Look at the size of these cabinets on this side. Wow, they go all the way back there. Mm -hmm. I guess these would be food pantries or, well, I don't know. That's paper thin, unfortunately. You can hoard your toilet paper and paper towels in these, I guess. I Hoarding paper towels, yeah. <laughs> and there's actually charging stations on either side of these cabinets over here. Nice. So if you want to charge your phone, if you're looking at recipes online or something like yeah, that, then yeah. you can have access. You can have your pad sitting there, yeah. Absolutely. Huge mm -hmm. refrigerator. Now, this one isn't turned on, but it does have the temperature control, the digital temperature in there. Excellent. Yep. Two drawer freezer on the bottom. Right. Love that. I know, me too. Ice maker in there so you're not having to open it up for everything. Exactly. Nice, can yeah. separate it out. And then, then there's this whole thing over here. Then there's this whole thing over here. I'm Look at that, drawers. Everywhere. Wow. That's amazing. I don't know what I would do with this much cabinetry. And I, 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 I don't think I have enough things to put in here. <laughs> <laughs> We'd find a way to fill them up. Oh, we would. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to the back. By the way, as we're going to the back, there's a couple other things that I like to pull out, or point out, I should say. <laughs> um, we got a ceiling fan up here, which is nice. But you see these vents? There's your air conditioning vents here. And if you were standing here where I am, if, if you look, they're in a straight line right there. 
And then on the other side, let me go back this way. They're in a straight line all the way back there. So it's kind of like a raceway, okay? It's called whisper quiet. These are your intakes, right? Input, output. So you're taking in mass air here, which can condenses it down into a smaller to spit it out. Plus it is super, super, super quiet. I mean, I can't even hear it. All right, it's on right now, all right? So let's get up into the bedroom. Wow, nice king bed. This looks to be like a regular king bed. It's on a slide. It is an east-west configuration, right? Left to right. But since it's not just in a slide, but it also, if you can see, it's kind of lifted up a little bit. And so it's slid back a little during. In fact, Lisa, you were operating that earlier. Why don't you go put that all the way back so they can see. When, when you're gonna be driving, right? When moving this, is that all the way? Yeah. Go all the way. Is that all the way? So that's perfect. So that's all the way. When the slide comes in, right, when it's coming in this way, you have to do this to the bed so that it doesn't crush this, okay? But what's neat is during the day when you're parked somewhere, you can push it back like it is right now so you have more walking room to get in and out of the back. I, I really love that. Yeah, so too. the bed, you've got uh, charging stations, uh, USB there. And you've got USB on this side as well as a plug. In front of the bed, you've got some wardrobe stuff going on. There's a TV and you've got, we'll call it his and hers. Okay, there's his and here's hers. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, you have uh, matching left and right. And then there's eight drawers down on the bottom. As you can also see, um, there's some lighting underneath there too. And so if you've got small feet and small shoes, you can actually put some shoes underneath there too, which is kind of nice. All right, so let's go into the bathroom. Well, here we have a spot for a washer and dryer. Oh yeah, look at that. It's really convenient. Absolutely. And if not, look at what's above. There's actually some hanging space up above there too. Mm -hmm. So if you're not using it for a washer and dryer, um, you could use that for, for more hanging space. Or if you have a combo unit, you can still have extra hanging yeah, space. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Now, this would normally be where I would sit on a toilet and, and tell you my opinion, but I'm pretty sure I don't have to do that here. You can dance a jig in here. I can dance a jig. Here, all right, so we've talked about this in other videos. Look at the closet space, okay? Actually, this is sort of like another wardrobe, but we would use this for towels and things, right? You need spots for linens in the bathroom for towels. You do. Um, there's a lot of bathrooms that just don't have a space. Um, there's plenty of space in there. We may have to, you know, kind of augment and put some shelves and things in there, but that's a nice space in there, okay? I know we didn't talk about the toilet I didn't sit on, but it, it is a porcelain foot flush. Now, just next to the toilet, you got his and her vanities, dual vanities, okay? All right, it's a solid surface, which is nice. All right, plenty of countertop space. Now, there is no uh, medicine chest up. It's just this gigantic mirror. Hi, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> We're famous. <laughs> I'll make you famous. Anyway, just a huge mirror. I mean, you don't see big mirrors like this in RVs, okay? Uh, but it doesn't open, so you're gonna have to use these drawers down here like, like a medicine cabin, okay? So let's go check out the shower, shall we? All right, well look, my head's not even in the bubble. <laughs> that bubble is way above me. This is a great size shower for a tall guy. If you're a tall guy, you're gonna wanna come look at this particular Redwood model. This is awesome. You've got the nice high uh, uh, shower door, nice big shower head that you can get under. It's got a wand. I mean, this is awesome. You got a seat here if you wanna sit down and take a break. Plenty of space left to right. Um, the only thing that I would change, it's just a personal thing to me, I don't like the glass in the shower. That's just me. I would rather have a retractable door. I have a link down in my description if that's something you wanna see. It would be the first thing I upgrade in almost every RV we go into. Um, we have it in our own. We absolutely love it. I highly recommend it. Uh, but yeah, this shower is definitely too. All right, so there are two gigantic awnings here that cover about two thirds of this coach, which is really neat. And then right here, and this is one of the things that I love about Redwood's 
their details, right? Look at how clean the storage area is. You got slat wall for hanging up stuff, whether it's your tools or whatever, but this is your command center. This is where all your digital stuff is, right? It's an in-command system, but it's also got this water manifold. For those who don't know what that is, it allows you to isolate one water source. So let's say the sink in the kitchen has a problem. You don't have to turn off the water to the entire coach. You just turn off the water to just the sink. This is where your central vac is. I mean, there's all kinds of things here. Down underneath this tray, this is where your hydraulic uh, tank is, is kept for your hydraulic jacking system. All right, behind this door, this is where you put your propane tank. You can have either a 30 or 40 pound tank. And again, as I pointed out, that is your hydraulic jacking. Now, I always forget to mention slam latches. And the thickness of the doors, it, it's pretty good. I mean, I mean, you hear how solid that sounds when you close it? It's amazing. Now the windows are frameless. But now look at this down here in the back. Look at the storage back here. It is absolutely huge. The whole back half of the coach is storage, which is amazing. All the way to the back here, again, a fiberglass molded cap. So it kind of looks like a, a class A going down the road, right? You got your ladder mounted so you can get on the roof for inspections and servicing. It is pre-wired for that backup camera from Furion. Now over here on this side, this is where your power connection is, your 50 amp, okay? And as you can see, it, it's, it's on a power reel. So all you gotta do is press that button, it'll go in. Okay, this is the other side of your storage. Now there are three slides, by the way, on this side. One, two, and this is the third one, okay? Your sewer connection is right there. Here are your upgraded tires. Nice looking tires, right? And you've got the uh, the uh, LRE 4100 upgraded suspension from Moride, which is awesome. Okay. And then as we get up to the other side of that big storage I was showing you, this is where your wet bay is. And another thing that's nice, and sometimes I forget to point out, it's separated from the other bay. So let's say you have a water hose bust in here. The water is just gonna go out down here. It's not gonna flood your whole compartment. Um, a lot of people don't do that. So it's nice that they do that. Okay, this is the other propane tank, so you can have either 230s or 240s. Now, as we get to the front of the coach, you can see this big storage bay. In there, you'd put your batteries. Uh, if you wanna do a generator, a generator would go in there. But if not, it's just storage. And as you see, this has also got the upgraded More Ride pin box. Beautiful Redwood coach. All right, what did you think of this Redwood model? This is. Uh, you know, there's not a Redwood we've been in that I haven't liked. Each one seems better than the next. This one with the kitchen, if you're a foodie, oh my God, this is the one you've got to have. This is a cooker's paradise in this particular RV. All right, now, if you really do like it, remember, we're at La Mesa in Port St. Lucie. I've left the phone number down there. Um, if you really like it, give them a call, but make sure you tell them the tall man sent you. They can help you out with this particular model, okay? But for everyone else, look, if you just found us for the very first time, thank you so much for staying and watching our video. We really do appreciate it. So give us a big thumbs up. The YouTube algorithm loves it when you hit that thumbs up button and it helps us out a lot. We appreciate it. For those who have already subscribed to our channel, thank you so much for coming back. We really do love you guys being part of the family. We love all you guys. We do this for you, all right? So until the next time, everybody, be safe.